Welcome. Today we are preparing a butternut squash and ricotta filled crepes with maple creme fraiche. And the complete list of ingredients is at the end of the video. So we'll start by preparing the crepe batter. It needs to rest for about 30 minutes before cooking the crepes. So start with some flour and dry sage, salt and pepper for the liquid. I have some 10% cream. I'm adding three eggs and three. And simply mix it and slowly whisk it in to the flour mixture. I'll go and cover this, let it stand for 30 minutes, or you can cover it up, put it in the fridge for up to one day. Just make sure to bring it to room temperature before making the crepes. We're ready to prepare the filling. To start, we'll melt butter in the pan. And while this heats up, we'll prepare the creme fraiche. I have a half cup of 10%, 15% or 18% cream, to which I'm adding two teaspoons of maple syrup and lemon juice. This needs to stand for 30 minutes so it thickens nicely, after which time you can put it in the fridge for up to a day until ready to use. All right, this has heated up nicely and the butternut squash to start, two cups and some garlic, another teaspoon of dry sage. It's already very fragrant. Some pepper and a little bit of salt. Now let this brown for about eight minutes. I'll start the crepes. This looks ready to go. I always keep a little extra 10% cream just in case the batter is a little too thick. We want really thin crepes for this recipe. Another trick is to put the butter with a fork so you just have a small film in your pan. And what you want to do is spread the batter directly in the pan. After one or two crepes, you'll be just like a pro. These cook very quickly, 30 seconds per side. So this is well on the way, we'll finish our filling. This is ready to add some water. We'll make a few more crepes and we'll be ready to assemble. Perfect. The squash will be nice, tender, ready to be mashed. And now for the ricotta and cream. Two crepes per person will be a perfect fall appetizer. It's simple to do, but still sophisticated when you bring it to the table. And simply fold it in four. This looks beautiful. And the creme fraiche is ready, nice and thick. And the hint of maple syrup will go lovely with the squash. Finish it off with fresh sage and just a lemon zest. Mm. Mm. The sage, the lemon, the creme fraiche, the maple syrup, it's perfect. Enjoy it.